Tell me about the night I was born. Get me my baby! I saw something weird last night. You're not real, I'm tripping. Kalani, what's going on? How are you, Jim? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Hey, you still got a Christmas tree up. <laughs> I know. I've been getting, I've done a couple of interviews earlier today. Everyone's <laughs> asking me about it. It's like falling. It's a real tree. So it's like already shedding and falling apart, you know? Oh, nice. I'm like, I'm just going to get through the football games this weekend and then toss it out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in a festive sphere. Where are you at? Um, I'm in North Hollywood. Oh, okay. I, I lived there before, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where, where are you? Uh, I'm in Chicago currently. Oh, nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. the weather like over there? It's like 88 degrees over here. It's like uh, heat wave in Chicago version of this time of year, which is like high 30s and it's actually snowing. So, oh, well, wow. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's coming down. So it just started snowing today. Hopefully it's not too much of it. Cool. Very opposite. <laughs> I miss that California weather, you know? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, man, I, I spoke to Joel a couple of days ago. Uh, now I get to talk to you. I feel like I get the full experience, you know, <laughs> on, on the show. Really enjoy the show. Uh, I saw the first two episodes. Uh, so much to delve into. Tell me, how did you kind of initially come out, come around for this role? And how, how did you hear about the show? Because um, obviously you guys released it already in Canada. It's, you see, I don't know if I should feel good or bad in a sense. Like, oh, I don't. I, I get to get this experience watching this show for the first time, but then others already have seen it and know what happened. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of torn in that sense, but um, how did the show initially come about to you? Well, first of all, that was, that was interesting because I, I just had a comment on, on Tuesday when it premiered here uh -huh. and one of the um, uh, fans said, it's such a shame that I don't get to watch this for the first time again. So listen, yeah. you got an advantage over that guy because you're watching it for kind the first time. Kind of like time. never seeing Star Wars or something and then someone's like, oh, I'm so jealous you get to see it yep. for the first time it's now. True. It's true. Um, well, how the show came about. Well, you know, this was probably no different than any other audition that I've had before mm -hmm. um, where I got a couple scenes and, um, you know, I read the material and I was like, damn, like this is good stuff, you know? and you kind of put your heart and soul into it. And then, I mean, quite honestly, it's like oftentimes um, when I'm auditioning for a Canadian production because I'm American, mm -hmm. I think uh, like it's going to go Canadian first, you know, but I, I know that they were reaching far and wide for this role. And so you, you kind of just have to put that out of your mind and you just, go for it. But the material immediately, I was like, Oh, I want to do this, you know, and you do get you, you do get that feeling, you know, um, throughout your career, career, a lot of times, you know, and sometimes you, you see other actors who end up doing it, and you're like, Oh, that makes sense. You know, why that they, why they're doing it, you know, and sometimes when a role is yours, it's yours. So for me, I it was a typical audition. And then I didn't hear for a long time. And I was like, Wow, I was, man, I didn't well, get good about it, but then, ah, you yeah. know, it's yeah. on to the next. Yeah. Yeah. So you just, you kind of like, oh, well, next. Right. And um, then they came back around and they were like, you know, they were really um, pushing for the kid and the mom and really trying to piece everything together. It can be very complicated and, you know, getting all that chemistry together and, and um, so I ended up having a, a, a meeting with the showrunner, um, you know, via Skype or whatever. Mm -hmm. And and we talked for like a half an hour. And then, and basically she was saying, you know, now we know more since you first um, put your tape together for us. And we loved everything that you're doing, but now these are the other elements that because we know more about Wade and who he uh -huh. is. So she's, we sort of like talked about it and it just clicked for me. And I was like, holy crap, this is going to happen, you know? And, and so, so, you know, I happened to be doing a theater job somewhere and um, an actress was reading with me, you know, cause I, ne I needed to get that together and send it back to them. And, um, and I remember at the end of the, the, um, the audition, I gave her a high five and I was like, I just booked this. And she was like, oh, okay. And I was like, yeah, I just booked this. And I knew it. 
and uh-huh. and then a couple days went by and i was like oh <laughs> maybe i spoke too soon <laughs> but then <laughs> it, it, it went in my favor and and i'm so glad you know it, it was uh this is you win some and you lose some mm-hmm. and this one really counted you know this is the one that i really really wanted to win and i'm super excited for people to meet wade because Wade is, you know, multidimensional. And I think that's, that's to be said about, about the entire um, project, you know, like these are multidimensional characters that are not just sidelines and supporting this, this storyline for other archetypes, you know, mm-hmm. we're, we're like breathing this fresh image of what a family can look like you know, and what a family is trying to look like, what a family is trying to look for. And, and that's super interesting. We're seeing a landscape that, that, that we rarely see. And from a perspective and point of view that simply hasn't been presented in American broadcast television. So I feel like it's groundbreaking and it's super exciting, you know, and I, I, I look forward to people coming along on the journey and letting this world unravel and reveal itself and and having fun like watching jared um try to piece everything together with with um his mom the man he thinks is his dad and there's a lot to piece together there oh there's a lot (laughs) you know it's it's fun because i haven't seen it um in a while Mm -hmm. since it premiered in canada and then when i watched it on the the premiere on tuesday um, so many people had contacted me. They're like, "That poor Jared. <laughs> like, He's got to deal with a lot." And I was like, you know, "Yeah, he does." <laughs> when I spoke to Joel, I'm like, "I don't think I've seen a character on television or film uh, as, as Jared in the show that begs to work in a uh, fast food chain. I don't think that's ever <laughs> happened. You know, no one begs for a job at the fast food chain. I'm like, mm-hmm. it just shows the desperation and where this character is at in his point of life. Like, that was a great illustration right there." Definitely. work at tasty bucket you know <laughs> exactly and i think that's what's so interesting you know because it's yeah. sort of there's so much that's turned upside down or on its side you know you know the idea of a kid parenting his parents mm-hmm. you know um the idea of of the central character who's you know i i told you we would have a lot of conversations in the beginning you know, um, because he's still new to the industry. And, and so we would just have like all these really like lively conversations and, and he had a lot of questions. And, you know, and I said, the thing is, is that the audience is going to love watching you like in the frying pan, and just more oil gets thrown in and you just keep like having to like deal with all of this stuff. And I said, that's what makes it fun. Because in the end, it's almost like you have the moral compass, you know, it's like, you have the idea of, of what a good person would do. And that, that as audiences, we want to see him overcome, we want to see him be able to, to do what he's setting out to do, you know, but it just keeps getting more and more complicated. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, we're trying to figure out like, what are all these out, outer sources that are, that are, um, or forces that are coming in and, um, and disrupting, you know, his, his thought of what his life is. Mm-hmm. You know, your characters in particular, I, I think kind of the glue that, that brings this story to another level in, in so many ways. Like I couldn't figure out through two episodes, is he a bad guy? Is he a good guy? And I think that's a great character when you can't figure out, is he, he's got redeemable qualities because he's trying to help this kid to find out his past, but also you you play it so well with that. Like I, I think I wrote in the review that you have this, like your look, your eyes are just freaky at times. They're like kind of creepy and like, oh, I I wouldn't trust this guy for the life of me, but yet you seem to want to help him. So it's like, it, it's, that's the cool thing about your character. It's already so layered that you as a viewer, at least I was trying to figure out I, in one minute, I trust you. And I think this guy's a good dude and he's trying to help out. But then another thing I'm like, no, why would he, you know, especially with your kind of badass look with a leather jacket, driving a motorcycle. Uh, how, what was your approach to playing that? Because I think you nailed it completely of, of giving so much dimension to this character and this kind of mystery literally that he is, but also to the viewer, like, man, I don't know moment to moment what to think of this guy, Wade. Oh, thanks, Jim. You know, for me, let me put it this way. 
when I went to Canada the very first time and I had all my work papers and I, I went through border patrol, I, I mm -hmm. think it's, is what it's called. Um, uh, she said, uh, the border patrol officer, she's looking at my paperwork and she's looking at me and she says, so you're doing a TV show. And I said, I said, oh yeah, I am. And she goes, are you a good guy or a bad guy? And I looked at her and I said, I don't think I'm a bad guy. <laughs> and I think that that is the crux of it, man. Like yeah. it, if, you know, I, I think a lot of, um, for me, I think that I always try to find the most human connection that I can have with my characters. And this character is, as we watch the series, a lot's going to unfold and you're going to learn about his past, his history, and mm -hmm. it's deep, it's complicated, it's rich, and it's out of this world. So, so for me, I, I really wanted to like, um, lean into like, what makes him human. And I think that, that that's what intrigues me as an actor, right? The, the human condition, how you know how sometimes we just surprise ourselves like we yeah. think okay, i'm gonna walk into the situation and this is what i'm gonna do this is my plan and all of a sudden you walk away stunned like i don't even know what happened like i i was gonna say this i froze when this happened and then i lashed out on this and and i think that's what that's what's so interesting with um with with human behavior you know like we i like to look for those surprises so for me it's I never judge anything like, oh, that's stupid. That wouldn't work. Or, oh, I don't know. I try it all. Like mm -hmm. I truly experiment with everything. And I, and I think probably, you know, the, 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 the worst thing that I could do, I, in my opinion, is to judge myself as bad. Because let me tell you something, you, I don't know, you find a, a murderer who's like proven through and through, they always have a reason why they think that they're not a bad person. Yep. You know, no and one I, thinks they're a villain, even if they're no, on this, on, and when they appear to be the, the inner character, or the thing doesn't think they're bad. You know, right. they have a reasoning for it. Yeah. So they had their story. So mm -hmm. I think that was my job as, as Kalani was to say, okay, what's Wade's story? And what, what is Wade fighting for? Right. And, and I think oftentimes actors get caught up in like, oh, cause it's fun, right? It's like, oh, I get to do these things that are like devious or, or whatever. Then all they do is lean into the devious and it doesn't cost them anything. And yeah. for me, it's got to cost you something, man. Like I, and that was probably one of the biggest pieces of advice that I had given to Joel, you know, it's like, it's got to cost you, man. Like mm -hmm. you got to come away from a day of shooting and you got to feel like I'm exhausted. Like I gave of myself. And for me, I, I appreciate you saying that, 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 that I played, you know, that duplicitous kind of like back and forth and you're yeah. not sure. And that's, that's a great thing to me. Like that's the ultimate compliment because I think that's the hardest thing. Cause it's easy to be like, I'm evil. And that's just what, I, you know, I'm, I'm coming right. after you and da, da, da. And it's like, Okay, like it's sort of like when people are screaming, you know, if all they're doing is screaming at you, you just tune them out, you know, it's like it's not interesting anymore, because that's not how we are as people, right? There's a journey, there's a story. So that's what I'm looking for. And let me tell you, when you have great writing, and you have a great storyline, and you have great actors to work opposite of, then everything is is there for you. And if you show up and you do the work, you can, you can walk away from it and say, okay, the editing, the, you know, the, the, the soundtrack, the, the promotion, the whatever is out of my control. But what I'm going to do is show up and be the best possible way that I, I can be, you know, and it can be daunting, you know, it's like, first day on set and everybody's looking at you and the, you know you've got like splattered jeans. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, uh, I remember the, uh, the, um, costume fitting the very first costume fitting um the costume designer gave me all these rings and she was like which ones do you like i was like well i like that one that one's really cool that's nice that's nice, that's nice. so she's like just put them all on and so i'm holding them up and she's like well which do you like and i was like i like them all 
you know? And then somebody else who was there, she was like, well, Wade is extra, you know? And so they were very supportive. So they kind of like, they really let me be involved with like, I feel like he would have a piece from his past, his history. I feel like he would, oh, I like this. I like the feel of this. And, you know, um, and whatever reasons I gave. So it was very, um, very collaborative. So that it wasn't just you showing up as a hired gun and they're saying, you put this on, you show up, say these lines and and hit your mark and that's your job. You know, it's, they were very interested. And I think that's that's what makes smart collaboration. That's what makes rich um, art is when people invite you in, they share their vision, they get you aligned with what what they see, what they would like to see. And most importantly, they listen they ask you questions because in the end i was the one who was obsessing about wade wade and i was reading whatever source material that i had i was looking at the script and i was i mean i had to learn how to smoke cigarettes <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, I, I never smoked cigarettes in my life and so i had to like learn it so i was but the point is is that an actor they're going to live and breathe that particular character and I think smart directors, smart producers, um, smart uh, you know director of photography, they're going to look to their actors and trust that they may bring something that they never even thought that they 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 could do. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's so interesting, man. I, I, I love how, how much you put, how much heart and soul you put to this character because it really shows up. And I, I just felt overall, even, you know, for, for Joel being such a kind of new actor to this whole scene, he really laid it out there. I mean, as a cast, you guys really came together and, and formed something special, I feel. And um, the story is just so compelling. You know, I just hope there's more than six episodes, you know, because there's, it's obviously based on the books and, and there's more to the story. I feel like the only worry I had, I'm like, is this all can be done in six episodes? You know, this whole story be, be told because there's so much richness from, like you said, character wise, everyone's got their own story. Uh, I just hope you guys can tell the story and, and get, give more of it, you know, in the six episodes. For sure. I mean, you know, um, season two, um, you know, b um, God willing, you know, everything goes forward because, you know, you never know what the state of the world and you never know and, pandemic and all this business, but um, it is in the it's in the works. It's in the plans and and we're super excited about it. I mean, this cast loves each other, um, you know, love the crew and and so much fun. You know, mm -hmm. it's uh, it it's really cool, and and there's so much more that the story, um, um, is gonna is gonna go. You know, and and this journey that that Jared's gonna take, and and you know, there's there's nothing more fun than um, than having having people watching you throughout the process and having communication with you, you know, decision makers, right? Like yeah. writers and producers and, and telling you how much they value you and telling you how much they're adjusting these subsequent episodes because of what you've been bringing, you know, when they're showing up in the cycle, like, got two brand new scenes for you, you know, and we really want to like, um, deepen this part of, of the storyline, with you and, and Jared and, and you know, th th there's something that's really special about that, you know, and you feel like, wow, everything that you bring to it does matter, you know, all the hard work pays off, because sometimes it, it can feel like you can feel like an island, you know, like you show up on a project and they want you to deliver what they saw in an audition and show up mm -hmm. and, and you, you you know, you bring that to the project and you do it well. And that's great, you know, and then you sort of walk away from it. But this is like being, you know, being a part of a project and, and working with these people that you, you care about and you respect, and to feel so respected is, is such a gift. You know, and it's, oh, yeah, you can't you can't ever plan for that to have that chemistry and that connection as a group, you know, and, and a camaraderie. That's 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 one of those things that just kind of happens or doesn't, you know. Definitely, yeah. 
So we're, you know, we're all, you know, we're all looking to see like how it's going to be received in the U S mm -hmm. um, and I, I, you know, I pray that it, it finds an audience that, that appreciates it and sees it for, for, um, for what it's offering, you know, something that is, is super interesting and, um, and fresh, you know, in the idea of, of, oh, this is a perspective and this is a, a, a part of our culture that we don't really see, you know, not on film and television. That is, that's for sure. Yeah. So, so I think that, you know, it, it sort of normalizes that experience, you know, for young kids to look on screen and be like, Oh, he looks like me. He looks mm -hmm. like my uncle, my dad, my grandpa, you know, my brother, it, it makes it a possibility that they can, in turn find themselves on screen why not that's that's normal you know and no question and, yeah and and that that to me makes it super fun i i think you guys are onto something awesome here with this show i mean i really hope i, I you guys got a perfect network really cw just fits the mold and they've always been bold with doing uh, a lot of things and shows before they were like kind of the thing to do, you know, they've done it for years. And I think this network uh, is a really good place for you guys. And, and I certainly hope it gets the audience, you know, and people catch on to it. I already put out a review. So I'm seeing it's always like on my stats on my site. I'm like the number one thing for the last four days has been uh, the review for the show. That's been the top trending thing. So I'm like, I hope people are, are finding it and recognizing it. Um, and because it's really cool. Like you said, it's cool to see these faces that we don't get to see, you know, in film and television often and the stories, you know, the mythology, there's so much history and stories that we don't get to explore in a lot of these, a lot of films mainstream, you know, and um, it's, it's cool to see this. And, and I, I think the show's got a lot of elements of like life, not only the supernatural stuff, but it's got life, you know, like there are Jared, you know, there are Jared's out there, you know, unfortunately in bad situations with, struggling households and that's cool to kind of see on screen that um these are real people in a lot of ways that you could recognize you know absolutely you know it's uh i agree with you that cw has been fantastic and i think it's such a great match you know because mm -hmm. you know the idea of you know what what is a superhero right it, it's somebody who like extends beyond and digs deeper than they thought they could you know and i think that that we get to see like this this journey in the beginnings of this this young guy who is trying to hold everything together and just trying to like keep the lights on keep food on the table literally yeah manage manage everybody and and you know all these things keep going wrong for him but he's he's digging deep and he's you know it's he's it's coming of age you know it's 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 him rising to the occasion and seeing himself for who he really is and what he can really do and what's in his power what is not and um what his connection is to everybody around him you know but i think it, at the heart of it is the idea of family and what what is your job what is your responsibility what is your um desire for family you know and and I think that's what I really like about it because it's it's him dealing with people that he's had a history with for a long time, and then also dealing with new people that he's he's looking to possibly create a future with, you know. Right. And that's super um, super human, you know what I mean? And 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 like I said, I I applaud CW for the the diversity and for the um, for that forward thinking. Um, imagery that that has been fostered at the network because um i believe this is a a great match and and that people will be open and um excited to to see what this journey um brings them no i hope this journey continues i mean I, i'm two episodes in now i gotta wait for the actual tv you know to catch up with them. i'm like i'm like two weeks away from uh, you know seeing the episode three so I, i'm excited about this show uh because it's got great cliffhangers and the story always keeps on reeling you in so that's when you know you're, you're kind of hooked on it so uh i'm gonna be loyal and stick around and not read any spoilers you know to enjoy awesome. the journey on the ride but I had a blast talking to you, Kalani. It's cool to connect with you 
you and and Joel uh, and get like an inner kind of perspective on your guys's experience on the show. Um, and, and it's really cool to see. One thing I can definitely take away is how passionate you guys are about this show and just what you've done with this project and working together. So that's always really kind of the satisfactory part to see for, for an outsider that, you know, you guys really enjoyed the work on it. Thanks, Jim. It's been a pleasure talking to you today. And um, I hope uh, I hope uh, all the uh, subsequent ep episodes don't disappoint you. Oh, I don't <laughs> think so. I I'm already in. So we got uh, you. I'm we got our claws in you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hoping for more. I need more than six. So yes. hopefully we get that out. So um, definitely uh, I'll stay in touch with you and keep you up there. I know you. I, I follow you on social media and vice yes. versa. So uh, we'll definitely okay, I'll keep you updated on, on every week what's going on. Cool. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for supporting us. Sure. Oh, absolutely. Take care, Kalani. Take Talk care. to you. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm tripping. What are you? A trickster. Trickster. A CW series premiere January 12th. Stream free next.